Good morning guys, Jilly Cube, Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. I am just basically doing a pour for you. Um, just using up some end of or oh, end of cup cup of paints that I have left, seeing what I come up with and just going along the way. I did start a video um, earlier and chatted away. We had a bit of a lightning and it must have blown my um, power out for a second or two and oh, all sorts of things. So I did a lovely pour, which will be, I've just done a video of the ending of it. So I'll add it on the uh, end of maybe this one or another one, uh, just to show you what I did. But I have to give it another go because it was quite fun and quite effective. It was, um, yeah, doing a negative space. So give it another go and see how we go. I've got to keep an eye on my uh, camera now that it's not going to play up on me. So, so, I'm going to just use these rest of the paints that I have left to literally um, do a pour with. So, I have, they're all the Montmartre Studio Acrylics that I have left. It's the end of my pour week. Well, I just, as I usually work in that, I just make up a big load of paints of all the colours and then I just pour different um, techniques or different styles that particular until they've all gone and then I'll start again on a different set of colors and techniques so I don't just pour um, and make cups of paints up for one particular pour unless I'm doing a commission so all of my recipes to this particular uh, mix of paint are in the drop down box and I do add Helmar silicon to every single paint tub but only one or two drops because it is so good um, really really effective so that was a skin tone that I made up out of white and then just added some orange to it so I'm just gonna so this is literally doing the pour definitely over leftovers might be a big mess it might be one of the better ones I've ever done so you just never know don't usually like thin lines like this but like I said I'm coming to the end of these paints so I'm just hoping this white colour I choose will be the game changer to bring these all together and um, create a nice piece that hopefully I can sell 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 okie dokie what have I got here oh I'll tell you what I have got that I should use up I made this jug up for a pour that I did and I didn't use it because I'd already got enough paint so why not just use my jug so this had the same colors in it the magenta the orange and yellow so this will be interesting it had that sort of peachy skin tone but it needs using up I, I did do a ring pour with it which you'll probably see posted on my channel but this was the leftover because I didn't need the whole I made two jugs up and I didn't need two jugs of paint okie dokie um, that's that I have a little bit of navy that I'm going to put in between those lines add some big contrast in there Ooh, okay that is real dark navy silly sausage I haven't left myself a swipe colour but never mind we might I've actually just got this resting on the cake um, cake tray today baking tray instead of my giant push bins. So as I've come to the end of my paint day and I just wanted to, like I said, use up the paints, see what I get. Sometimes they're masters and sometimes they're disasters. So you just go with the flow. You never know which one you're gonna get. What's that life is a box of chocolates. Oh, I'm glad I put that dark color in there because that's really given it 
it makes the other colours pop. Pop, pop, pop. Okay. So if you guys want to uh, hop over onto my Acrylic Art by Julie Cube Facebook page, I have a little group there I've just started that you can post your um, your pictures to me on the group we've started. I have got moderators on that group, so it's not always me that answers. I do try to look at everything everybody puts, but I just can't be everywhere at once. But there were so many people wanting to show their work to to me so we created that page I'm not expecting it to get big or anything as such it was just a place that you guys can post your paint your work to me um, because yeah you just wanted me to have a look at it okie doke next stage is what shall I do with it Will I swipe it or will I go away fly thinking that I'll do sectional swipes instead of swiping the whole lot maybe so let's see what the blue looks like through the magenta pink Taking a little bit of this up through too. So it's kind of just sectional swipes. Not, it's just a piece of card. I've got some um, other plastic file divider cut up there that I can use too. quite effective actually I didn't think it would be so effective but I've got a good feeling about this that dark is really a good thing to add I believe just makes the other colors pop I'm swiping it through in different areas this is nice here yeah. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. Ooh. Tell me what you think, guys. Tell me what you think. Yeah. Do you give this a go? It's an easy enough one. It's you can obviously swipe like I would normally do a whole section, but a sectional swipe. I'm going to give it a bit of the heat gun. See how um it turns out but it's just a very simple and um, easy to do if you're a beginner for sure but look at the effect it gives you and I think that it looks so it just stands out beautifully because of that real dark navy in there just pops so let's just give it a little torch look at that lacing You might like it before the torch. I'm not going to add too much because it'll end up just selling everywhere. But these little uh, cells that have come up, they'll look like 3D floating kind of in space. It kind of reminds me, I don't know why, of a more desert because of the uh, peaches and pinky tones. I don't know. What do you think? What does it look like from your end, guys? Um, very simple, quick and easy with leftover paints. That's obviously something that you can do quite simply. Just it's a, a, a sectional swipe, just doing sections with a swipe instead of swiping the whole lot. I actually love it. What do you think? Please let me know. Be kind. Uh, wait at the end of this video and I will add photographs of this dried piece I'll also add the photographs of a pour that I just did that the film what you know wasn't running um, let me know if you'd like to actually see how it was done um, if you like it and just let me know because then I'll revisit what I did and um, 
work with that with you to give you another little idea so stay watching till the end thanks for joining me thanks so much for subscribing until next time bye for now Oops. Okay, guys, I'm probably going to add this uh, bit to the end of a video that I've done because I went all through this and thought it was just something fun for you guys to do and different. And then I had this a bit of a storm going on, so the power went off for a second and came back on. And I just looked at my video and it appeared to be going, but it wasn't going to show you the shenanigans that I did to achieve this so I may have to do it again another time so I will add this it was basically um, the canvas was covered with the yellow to start with and then I did some kind of pretzel circles all the way around and only heated up the circles to get those um, little cells and I've been using the um, airbrush to blow it and a straw so I'll just post this little video to let you see the possibilities and I obviously need to do the pour again similar so you guys can see it and um, see if you'd like to try this new one okay thanks for joining me I'll add this on as a bonus bit bye for now